So it tells you that the intercepts, x-intercepts are 2 and 5. And a given point is the point 4, negative 2. Okay, so here, because they give you x-intercepts, now you want to use the intercept form. So intercept form, if you recall, is y equals, you're still going to have some multiplier a, x minus p times x minus q, where x or where p and q are the intercepts. Okay. And so because they actually give you the intercepts, you can plug in x minus 2 and x minus 5. You can plug in those values for p and q. And again, you almost have your whole solution or your whole equation. All you're missing is the a value. So you can do the same thing that we just did in the last one. And, and again, I would encourage you to do it that way. It makes it nice and easy. In order to solve for a, we're going to plug in our given x value everywhere you see an x. Plug in our given y value everywhere you see a y. And just solve. So negative 2 is equal to a times 4 minus 2 times 4 minus 5. And when you work to simplify this, 4 minus 2 is 2, 4 minus 5 negative 1, negative 2 is equal to negative 2a, divide by negative 2, and you have your a value is 1. So we just plug that right back in, and we get our whole equation, y equals 1, you don't need to write, so just x minus 2 times x minus 5, and that would be our answer. Okay, now, just with or just like with the last one, you could also use the uh, quadratic regression to find that a value. Again, it's a lot of work for one piece of information, but you could do it that way. So now remember, even though you don't see our actual, I'll show you as these are entering. Okay, so what we can do is we can enter the information from this. Remember, if you're dealing with an x-intercept, it has the coordinates, whatever the x-intercept is for the x, and the y is 0. So 2, 0 is one set of points. 5, 0, the other set of points. Those both are the points that correspond to the intercepts. And then the last given point was 4, negative 2. Now notice, each time I did that, my graph changed and adjusted. And so I get my equation. And all I'm interested in from this is the coefficient. The coefficient is 1. So that's all I need to add to my work. Make sure there's a 1 here 